Alright, so to start today, I went ahead and pulled the phone back up for my rear engine access right here. And that giant piece of metal is what used to cover it, so I cut out a square with the cutoff wheel. It's about right. It's a little bit bent, but once we put a couple sheet metal screws in it to hold it down, that'll cover it nicely. Then we'll put the phone back on, and then I don't have to worry about coming back to this part anymore. So I need to go find some screws and the impact. I've had to move everything out of the back from the spray foam yesterday, so everything's kind of piled up right in front of that wall right there so we'll get that done and then I can kind of just get this finished up and not have to come back and worry about it now that that's done we're gonna finish insulating around here couldn't get this stuff with that spray yesterday because I didn't want to seal the engine access out That's starting to look good. I almost want to cover the windows. <laughs> it looks that good. I mean, that window doesn't look so great. Problem solved. Got it all fit to the floor. Went ahead and got our outlets cut in. And I marked out where the window is. Because if you remember, it's got that wood trim around it. It's really nice to kind of hook to right there. So I figured I'll just leave this solid. Because it actually fits up really well in there. We'll cut access to my one window that I want there, and we'll just screw it up against the rest. Insulate. Yeah, it's going to be insulated in between there, too. So that'll be nice. It'll cut down on some draft and some other stuff. There we have a wall. I don't want to do a trim piece over the top. It's going to come up and run all the way across the top to seal it back off. Kind of just match the profile of the wall, but it's not going to be a big deal to do that later. Got two or three panels up to sheet this wall. We had to take the ceiling down to do it so we can get it in there, get it marked and measured. I'm also going to have to come back and trim the edge of the ceiling for those two panels to make sure they clear. But now we've just got to do this little panel here, and that'll be done. Dad decided uh, probably best not to try to do one sheet for that. We'll split it into three because of the curve of the wall when we come into that one. but. The math is easier when it's on smaller pieces instead of one ginormous piece. Yeah, so... Because it's not straight on the sidewall, and it's the whole thing is curved. Yeah, so... <laughs> one more piece to do there. I gotta do a little bit of trimming on my ceiling panels. The ceiling panels go back up. And then, uh... I think this thing's getting really close to having the bedroom looking really good. I'm getting excited. The more walls that go up, the better this thing's starting to look. It's just... Like... The other day when we started on this thing, it was gutted coming in here and seeing nothing. I mean, it, it it's a lot of work. There's definitely been a lot of work put into it, and it sucks seeing how much you have to do. But I think once we get this room finished out, knowing that that's a third of the bus done, and honestly probably one of the harder parts. I mean, the bathroom kitchen dividing wall is going to suck because it's the same as this. But after that, it's a lot of just straight finish the walls out and go. There we go. Three pieces, and that entire wall is up. Now we go get the uh, ceiling back in here. And we'll get that back up. And I think it's going to look really good. That is starting to look a lot better. So like I said, this wire here is going to be my power coming in for my 12-volt lighting. So it's going to run up here. So we're just leaving that hanging down for right now. This wall should go pretty quickly. Um, haven't decided what windows I'm covering yet. I'll probably cover that one. I don't think I'm going to leave it open because I've got that one blocked off as well. Really happy with the way that wall turned out, though. I think it looks a lot cleaner just having that one window there. Like I said, I'm having a built-in closet over here, so no use in leaving that window there. I was going to have to cover it anyway. Same with that back one there. I, just, I like the look of it. It's going to continue back into the wall back there. Uh, now that that's done, though, getting ready to do lunch. Got the ceiling back up and trimmed to fit. Got the floor cleaned up. Just been stepping over trash all day, so I might go ahead and just put my outlets in real quick before I go to lunch. Because now that the wall's up, like no, I gotta take the wall back down to insulate behind those windows. So I'll leave those off for right now. But that's getting a lot closer. Like I said, I just gotta do a trim piece. For up here, 
Got to make my little ledge. It's going to go under the window, but that's not going to be a huge deal to make. And then uh, this side's pretty well done for now. So when we come back, I'll probably start focusing over here. And then we still got a lot of stuff to do back here. I respray foamed this this morning and sealed up the rest of it. Uh, my engine access is that piece there, so I made the sheet metal panel to get to it. I put the foam back over it. I did not spray foam that in. You know, that's still removable, so we can still get in there to the engine access. And the way I'm doing my bed frame is I'm splitting the frame in half. So half of it will be this side over, built in, screwed down. This side's going to be free floating. So if I have to work on the bus, I can get the mattress out of the way, flip this half of the frame over, and I can still get in there. And then that leaves me good access to come in my rear access door if I need to get stuff in and out of there that's larger. Because the bed's going to go halfway up that thing. So if I have it so my bed frame can kind of flip out of the way, that just makes it easier to load and unload out of that door. The fact that that door works on this bus, I'm so happy. It's made it a lot easier having an access to get in and out right there. We're able to get materials through and all that stuff. So I think that's where we're going to stop for lunch, though, for the day. We'll come back. We'll do this. And then I think it's going to be time to start insulating and working our way up through the rest of the bus. See how far we can get. Really excited here. We got a delivery when we got back from lunch. Gino's Garage sent a diesel heater for the bus. So I think tomorrow when I'm working on my own, I'll probably work on getting this thing installed in there. But uh, I want to say thank you to him. That's awesome. This is going to be really nice until we get the mini split in there to actually have something other than a uh, portable heater to get the bus heated in. With the insulation we're doing in here, this should be able to do pretty much everything that I need. Well, there's the shelf, or at least the start of it. Get ready to go through and construction adhesive the top of that down, and we're going to screw it in. Then from there, we're going to measure and do the front. Now, the front board is actually going to come up a little higher than there because I want to create a little bit of a lip. It sticks up just a little past here, so whatever's on the shelf can't roll around and stuff as this thing goes down the road. I don't want it to fly off and land on my bed. So, a little bit different than normal, but it's going to work better for the situation we're trying to do. All right, so we went ahead and got the front piece on. I cut a little piece up there, so I have plenty of room to get to my engine access. That piece of foam, it's actually two pieces now, comes up. And that's where my engine access is. The front one is just screwed on, so if I ever do have to get it off, it comes off. It's not uh, screwed and using construction adhesive like the back. I've got my outlet for the shelf up here. We cut a couple pieces of wood to finish out the ends. Now we're going to cut a piece It's going to go flat across here. Nothing that's really going to be hooked down too seriously, but it's going to cover that, be a nice flat bottom, so that way, once I clean this up, my mattress has something flat to sit on. Then we're going to have a piece that's going to come over the edge, come down to the floor to cover up in front of these vents and stuff, so it's going to be a nice finished edge. Well, we got the half wall in on this side. So, it's starting to look pretty good in here. Alright, pretty good day. So, this wall has been finished out. We've got our rear shelf built and in, ready to wire up outlets in here. The bed is built in two pieces so this whole side here comes off so I have access to get stuff in and out of the door as well as I have easy access with a couple screws to get to my rear engine access that backboard right there comes up there's a panel underneath I can lift up and I've got access to my engine at least the rear side of it this wall same thing we're looking pretty good uh, I've got to do some outlets and stuff but we're getting really close uh, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do for a piece of trim along the top but that's not a huge deal and then this wall's been sheeted as well. So we're making a lot of progress on the bedroom. Um, I think by the end of the day tomorrow, it may not be finished, but it'll be functional. I mean, it's insulated and stuff. I got that diesel heater. I'm hoping to get that hooked up tomorrow as well as getting some power ran to it. If we get the diesel heater hooked up, I'll get it plumbed in somewhere over in here, which is going to be under my closet and have it pump air into the bedroom. But it's a lot of progress, I think. I mean, three days ago, this bus was completely gutted. Now I've got a fully insulated bedroom that's pretty close to being usable. So, we'll have more tomorrow. Uh, I think tomorrow's going to be mostly myself on this project. I don't think I'm going to have help for it. So, uh, like I said, I'll get the electrical done, probably get the diesel heater in, got a bunch of cleaning to do, and we'll probably start insulating the front half of the bus. And uh, see how far we can get this weekend. <laughs>